as a little disclaimer before the video, I just want you guys to know that um, this is something that really depends on your ability to draw first before it depends on this being a viable method for you to clean up your lines and get better lines in Flash. So this is not a clear cut way to make you draw better in a sense. It's a cl it's just a tool that allows you to clean up maybe what already exists and what you can already can capable of. But this in no means will correct any anatomy or you know, any kind of artistic challenge that you have. That's something you're going to have to practice and figure out on your own. Hello everybody, this is a Flash tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you guys how we are able to make our lines look so smooth in Adobe Flash. Some people think we use Psy, some people think we use Photoshop. We do not use any pixel-based uh, software to get our lines in Flash. We do everything in Flash and I'm going to show you some of the methods we use to um, get as clean of lines as possible. There's many different methods that we use. So let's just jump right into it. So let's say I make a circle, you know, what could be more simple than a circle? And you notice up here, it didn't really turn out very well, but the rest of it looks okay. You know, the line looks pretty neat, but right here is it's messed up. And uh, most people would have just, you know, redrew it a bunch of times and tried and figured it out. But the way we do it is a little different and we what we do is we take everything we have here and really this small chunk right here is what I don't like. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press V which gets us the selection tool and I'm going to want to uh, go up right against the line and curve these lines a little bit. Just like that. And for this part here if I hold control I can actually pull up a, a point and start from there and manipulate it that way. But you can still tell it's still kind of jagged. So if I want to get even more technical, I can just select this section of the circle and then go to my selection tool and then hit this little squiggly line down here called smooth until I find, you know, a smoothness that I like. And if you don't get this, like, if it's not like pushing it hard enough like it's not um like you see it's still got this lip here it's just not doing it right if you zoom out sometimes you get better results with it and i zoom back in and as you can see it kind of it's really more it's a lot more curvy but it still has these little lips here so what i want to do is i just cur whoa not that um i'll create a point in the middle by holding alt and that kind of gives me a little point in the middle so it doesn't freak out like you just saw it do. And then I'll manipulate the line until I find something that looks a little smoother than it was just now. And it did it again, so I want to make a point by holding Alt and just move it slightly. And it's looking a little better. Obviously this, um, this is a really tedious method to getting your lines just right. But if you're having a hard time getting your lines just right, it's really just trial and error to messing with these tools. So there's our, I mean, there's our simple result. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to perfect it any more than that because we would be here for a long time if I tried to perfect everything. But this right here, the circle looks a lot better than it did when we first started, which I don't have that anymore. So let me just undo everything and I'll show you what we started with. Okay, and this was our original circle, and then this is our improved circle, just by using selection and the line tools. Um, so, how will this apply in something a little more complex is probably your question. Well, if I go over here, this is a frame that I drew for our, la our last video of Cupcakes. And, as you can see, I have not cleaned the lines up on this yet. And... Um, Let's, let's, let's go on the hand. So let's zoom in here. We'll go into the hand. And as you can see, there's some imperfections here, like this line doesn't really, doesn't really, 
cater to that line very well. So I'll just hold Alt and then I'll drag that in and then I'll smoothen it a little bit. And, you know, we'll just do that. And that looks pretty good. Oh, maybe a little bit more on this side. Okay, and then right here you can see we didn't finish these lines here, so I'll just drag those down and then curve them. This is a very tedious pro uh, process if you're, especially depending on the graphics you're working with, this can be a very tedious um, method to cleaning up your lines. And right here, whoops. Sometimes you will dra drag everything, just be careful that you're you are grabbing from the source, or the, not not the source, like the line part, and not like a source. Sometimes I do, like, I do this method where I cross them a bunch of times like this. And then when I'm done, I'll just kind of like shave it off like that. And then there you go. I mean, a lot better than it was before, but I don't know if that's perfect. But yeah, there we go. It actually that looks stupid right there. Let's correct that a little more. And it's be very careful you don't overcorrect either, because if you are overcorrecting, you can make you can just make things look kind of out of place and not the way they were intended to. I don't really like that. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it. Oh well, it looks it looks fine enough for this tutorial at least. So I don't really like how thick the neck is. And if I want to tone that back, there's a couple ways I could do this, but let me show you one way um, that's a little different from the rest. There's um, there's a method I use with the line tool when I want to just like get rid of things or um, change things around. And there's actually a tracer tool with the line tool. If you press S, um, it'll bring up the ink bottle bucket right here. You can click it over here. And if you just select a line around it, it'll actually make a traced line along the lines of your uh, art. And what I like to do with this sometimes is if I think a line's too thick, I will I will move like, I'll move this backwards and then I'll just fill in this extra part and then I'll just get rid of the line. So that way I didn't have to, you know, warp the lines or anything. I just simply moved it backwards by um, manipulating the graphic with a line tool. Now we also use that for shading. So if you see right here, we you know we have shading. Let me just flat color this right now. And I want if I wanted to shade it, this is how we usually shade, just because it's a lot more convenient. We'll actually trace the lines like this, and that came out really jagged. If that ever happens to you, this smoothening tool that you used for um, cleaning up some of the lines, you can also just kind of clean up your shading graphics too. See, that looks a lot better than what I just, whoops, what I just had. Uh, one thing you will have to keep in mind and really remember is that the tool is not a miracle you know, it's not a miracle, like, fix my art button. It's something you're going to have to play with. It's going to be very specific to your project and very specific to what you're trying to draw in Flash. So, you know, there we go. And if you, if you want to save on time, instead of, like, selecting all these um, all these lines individually, if you, make sure you have the same color um, pencil tool. And if you just scribble, basically, and connect all the lines, just double click on one part and then you can delete all of it. Okay, so obviously I got a really rough sketch here. Um, now I got bleeding lines. Not very good. So, I'm going to show you how I can put this into practice on something a lot more complicated, like a head. Um, so I'm already I've already started. <laughs> um, <coughs> so basically, my eyes I can just kind of like hit this 
tool to kind of like give me a start on it. I don't want to press it too much because for me it usually doesn't work more than like two times when I'm working with so like an arch like that. So I'll just I'll, I'll just speed through this and I will show you maybe if I show you really fast you can take something in and just watching me do it. So I'm just going to clean this up and I will be right back. Okay, so as you can see, this is the result. Um, I cleaned up the lines a lot better than they were, you know, previously. And this is the result. This is what I was able to do with that rough sketch. Obviously, you would not be working with a sketch so messy, I would hope. Um, I just kind of did that as an exaggeration to show what you could do with something, even if it is like... It would, you would deem it unrepairable otherwise. So there, it's possible to take something that's really not that good and turn it into something usable because, well, you know, let's face it, sometimes you just mess up that small section of a drawing and everything else looks perfect and you just need something to kind of guide you along the way. This It also has to do a lot with technique and your ability to draw. So if you know you're not very good at drawing this may not solve your problem you might have to still practice a little more and you know get better before you can get better lines and flash but this is a very good tool on in a way that you can fix your lines for the time being or you know fix a small section if the rest of the art looks really good so it's really a trial and error method there's really no one clear-cut way to teach you how to do this it's really just practice how to do this practice how to draw and try and do everything yourself and it all comes down to do you have the time and patience to learn um, how to do this so uh, hopefully this was helpful to you guys um, I don't know what else to say <laughs> Um, if you guys want to leave any comments down below and if you want any more tutorials, you know, be sure to tell us down there because we are more than willing to do more tutorials. We just didn't want to do them before because they were on our main channel and it was just, it didn't seem fitting to put them on, on the animation channel. So if you want uh, any more tutorials uh, and I want us to explain how we do things, obviously we can't get too in depth with some of our techniques and methods and, and like how we draw our style and stuff, but we can definitely show you the techniques in which you can make your projects look better. So um, let us know in the comment section. Goodbye.